Hello everybody, welcome to Nature Calls. My name's Anthony and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a summary of um, the entire Tesla solar roof build series. So if you want uh, you know, real intense details, uh, I would definitely recommend watching the series from day one all the way through till the end. Uh, but this is also going to serve kind of as a wrap up of the whole process. We'll be going through uh, some of the things, but it's gonna be you know a little more uh, general we will go through each day but it will be a little more general uh, so that this video doesn't take like a half an hour uh, with that though let's get started all right so let's start off with this video I have a whole calendar that we were going to go through uh, it spans the months of June and July uh, there's a total of 19 days, uh, and that ends up working out to a month and one week. Uh, now, there was a whole week uh, that that Tesla was only here one day of the whole week, but that was due to, uh, in some parts, to weather, and in other parts due to waiting for materials to come in to finish the roof. Like, we needed extra metal for uh, the front section over here, and we needed... Uh, metal and more importantly skylights for well the skylight sections of the roof so that did add into uh, the length of time it took to finish this roof but in reality a uh, Tesla could probably do a roof in, in about a month so let's start off with day one on day one uh, the Tesla energy van showed up and we met one of the members of the team uh, that person basically you know told us what was going on uh, he kind of did a walk around of the house to get an, a feel for how it was laid out. Yes, they do look at your house on probably like a Google Maps uh, type of... Um, now they do look at your house on like Google Maps or a service similar to that. Uh, it's probably just Google Maps. And uh, they then put it through their uh, computer system to map out how your solar roof is going to lay out and they actually send you documents explaining that. Well, this person comes in person after it's all been official and uh, you know they're going to start the project within the next couple of days of them showing up. So he was there to make sure you know everything was in motion, check out where outlets and things were so that you know they could plug in some of their equipment to just make things run more smoothly and just look for sections of the house that may be uh, problems or, or cause delays and try to get those finished before uh, you know they cause a delay so like um you know let's say the corner uh over here uh you know it it has a an interesting angle it's got a it's got a it's got a peak that goes down over the front porch you know you have to make sure you have all that metal uh, you know on site you have to make sure that it's bent to the correct uh, you know pitch of the roof and things like that well uh, you know this this was the job of this first person from Tesla to get that all squared away now on day two day two was a just a drop-off day um, they had a nice big truck show up they dropped off uh, PV tiles, they dropped off glass tiles, they dropped off a ton of sheet metal. Uh, they then also dropped off a dumpster because the following day, day three, was the official ripoff day of the old roof. Now Tesla, uh, these guys got lucky, uh, Tesla, the corporation, uh, decided to sub it out to a third party, which is great because then the team can focus on just doing the Tesla roof and installing that and they don't have to kill themselves uh, you know tearing off your old roof or for, in my case two roofs and then putting on the new one because they don't stop they just keep going um, so it's actually more beneficial for the team and more productive for the team if a separate team or a third party team actually does the old standard roof tear down uh, for us that was great because we had two roofs on it so it was going to get t torn down anyway plus we had to get things replaced so um, they ripped off part of the roof on days three and put down some of the underlayment on day four they finished uh, ripping off uh, the roof and they put down 
the underlayment, which is that white Firestone. That seals your roof, that makes it waterproof, and then you're basically good to go. You don't have to worry about rain, even though you don't technically have the Tesla solar tiles and Tesla glass tiles up there. Your roof is still a, a roof, it's waterproof, and you don't have to worry about rain coming in. Now on day five, um, the porter potties arrived. Uh, the team was actually finishing up another job. Uh, they came to check uh, the roof to make sure that the third party team did a good job. Uh, they then proceeded to uh, lay down some additional metal on the sides of the roof and then further waterproof it on top of the waterproofing that was already there. Uh, this, from my understanding, is just standard practice. This was not uh, a failure of the tear-off team. It was just this had to be done anyway and they had the time and it was built into the schedule for them to do it, which was pretty cool. On day six, we began the first installation of the tiles and it started in this front section right here. Uh, it was pretty awesome to see. They had it all lined up and then started putting some tiles down. I think we got a row or two uh, during that day and it was just an exciting start to getting this roof finished. On day seven, uh, a majority of the focus shifted to the back and the side roofs. And um, that was, they, they made a lot of progress on those roofs. They, uh, they really laid them out. They got a lot of tiles down. Um, the main roof stayed the same, but they had all this space to go and move all the material to the back sides of the roof because in front of me here, was all the boxes and all the pieces of metal. So then they had to bring it forward, bring it up the ladder, and they kind of had to stage it up there for you know laying it out in the future. Uh, continuing on to day eight, uh, they tried to finish the back and the side roofs, but the day was cut kind of short because there was rain. So uh, back again on day nine, more rain, but the electrician was here and started running some of the electrical for uh, the inverters and everything you need to run your solar roof and tie it into the grid and be, you know, all official for your particular state. On day 10, uh, the inverters were officially hooked up by uh, the electrician. The small roof on the back was actually complete. Uh, most, more solar tiles were being installed on the big roof here. Started working up some sections, which is really fun to see and to see how they're all plugged into each other and all the wires they're running to make it all work and how they feed all the way down. Uh, very, very cool. On day 11, uh, there was massive work on the main roof. That was the main focus since, you know, that little back side roof was done. Uh, some of the small front roof was already finished. So a lot of focus on this main roof because, well, it's a lot of roof there. And uh, I believe the weather was also not looking good temperature wise later in, in those weeks. So you want to get that done so you're not on a super hot roof that's facing south all day long. So smart move on their part. On day 12, all of the big roof was done. We were just waiting on the two skylights to come in. They were delayed due to the third party uh, manufacturer. They had not finished them. They had not shipped them to Tesla. The chimney though over here was finished and all tied in. So that was pretty awesome. On day 13, uh, the roof was connected officially to the inverters, so it connects right about there, and then it runs, boom, down to the inverters, boop, all the way to the meter. And that was all officially tied together, so then we could get on with actually getting it certified and approved by uh, the town and the electric company. On day 14, uh, they actually finished installing the PV tiles on the upper roof, so it was at one more day of delay because technically all the PV tiles have to be finished. The glass tiles doesn't matter, but so it, it was one more delay before uh, they could come out. Uh, day 15, uh, the Tesla inspector and the town inspector were here. We passed electrical, but since the roof wasn't finished, uh, they didn't want to clear it. Even though you don't need a permit for a roof, you just need uh, approval for the solar part so technically the town was wrong and in the long term they ended up just approving it because they realized that uh, you know it was a mistake the town made a mistake on their part so that was good and we move on to day 16 uh, we noticed notified that the skylights uh, have arrived and they were going to be there for installation 
So on day 17, just a lot of work on the skylights. Uh, there's a lot of work going into making sure holes in your roof don't leak. Um, a lot of metal work to make sure it fits correctly, and then firestone to make sure it stays nice and weather sealed, and then just constantly putting the skylights on, taking them off, you know, adjusting the fitment, making sure everything lines up correctly and things fit correctly and they're, you know, weatherproof and all of that that helped that happened for day 17 and day 18 and on day 19 the roof was finished and uh there it is now now we are officially approved and plugged in and hopefully uh you made it through all these days if you want to see them in more detail and actually see video of it occurring uh definitely check out all the individual days on this playlist it's going to give you a more full idea of 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 the whole thing but uh that's a look at my roof and where it stands now uh the only thing really left to do is to get the power walls in and they should be somewhere around here uh the power walls we'll see uh what the tesla powerwall team has to say about that the powerwall team is separate from uh the solar roof team so we'll see what those guys have to say when they show up. It sounds like it should be a one day job, maybe two day job at the most. So that should be pretty fun uh, to, uh, to witness. Uh, other than that though, really hope you enjoyed watching. I hope I'm helping you uh, understand and see like how Tesla goes about this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them and make videos on them to help other people out uh, especially if you have questions regarding uh, New Jersey and you know the Tesla solar roof because well I live in New Jersey so I have a good idea on the hoops and things you jump through and um, you know I'll keep trying to put out you know in general Tesla information on both the car because I have a Model Y and on the Tesla solar roof and power walls. I'm also going to keep trying to help my people in New Jersey here since, you know, I'm having an experience in this state and at the same time still provide great videos for everybody else in the country and around the world. So thank you so much for watching Nature Calls. Really appreciate having you here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, consider subscribing, and other than that, have an excellent day.